question number 16. And it says, find the maximum and minimum values, m and little m, of e to the x squared minus 2x power on the interval from negative 1 to 2, and then use them to find an upper and lower bound for the integral from negative 1 to 2 of this equation. Okay? <laughs> so, we first need to find the maximum and minimum values. So, to find maxes and mins, we need the critical numbers. So, to find the critical numbers, we take the derivative. Okay? So, the derivative is going to equal e to the to x squared minus 2x times derivative of the inside. So, 2x minus 2. Okay? So, by chain rule, that's the derivative. Okay? So, find critical numbers, we set the equation equal to zero. Okay? So let's set each individual part equal to zero. So e to the x squared minus 2x equals zero, and then 2x minus 2 equals to zero. Okay? So an exponential function can never equal zero, so don't even need to worry about it. Okay? But right here, we're going to see that x should equal 1. Okay? So, to find maximum and minimum values on an interval, we need to investigate the function value at the endpoints, f of negative 1 and f of 2, and then the function value at our critical numbers. So, f equals 1. Okay? So, let's plug negative 1 into this equation. Okay, so we're going to get e to negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1, okay? that is going to lead us to get p cubed. Okay? Negative 1 squared is 1, minus 2 times negative 1, so it's really plus 2. 1 plus 2, e cubed. Okay? Let's plug in 2. Okay? So we're going to get e to the 2 squared minus 2 times 2. So it's 4 minus 4 equals 0, so e to the 0 power is 1. Okay. And finally, the function value at the critical number. Okay, so we get e to the 1 squared minus 2 times 1. Okay, that's going to be 1 minus 2 for e to the negative 1. So now we need to find our maximum value and our minimum value. Okay? So the maximum value is going to be e cubed. Okay? All right. And then our minimum value is going to be one, or e to the negative 1. Okay? So maximum value is e cubed, minimum value is e to the negative 1. Okay? So, then to find upper and lower bounds, okay, we have the equation, the minimum value times b minus a is the lower bound for the integral, okay, and then the maximum value times b minus a is the upper bound, okay? So, the minimum value is e to the negative 1, or 1 over e, okay? b minus a is 2 minus negative 1, okay? Alright, 2 minus negative 1 is 3, okay? So that means our lower bound is going to be 3 over e. Okay? Alright, let's do the same thing for the upper bound. Okay? Our maximum value is e cubed, so it's e cubed times b minus a, which is 3, okay, so that is equal to 3e e cubed, alright, and that is answer b.